Today, from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, this is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens versus Robert Griffin III and the Washington football team. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Washington football team. It's the Battle of the Beltway. Baltimore and Washington are underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by their enigmatic quarterback, the Heisman winner from Baylor. It's Robert Griffin III. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the shotgun, Griffin. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Calais Campbell finding his way home for the sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. From the gun, it's Griffin sliding out of the pocket. He can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Washington going to send out their punter. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Allow me a second here to gush because in his college career, the only player in NCAA history to rush for over 1,500 yards and pass for over 3,500 yards in a season, and he did it twice. 
That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Yet he only won the Heisman Trophy once. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon in washington territory now here's first and 10 at the 48 yard line from the gun it's jackson throwing left side here and it's complete and he's got this down to the 35. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Jackson going to look to do it himself. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Jackson on first down. He's to the 10. And this is caught at the 8. And down to the 7-yard line. Another nice gain. 16 yards there at a first down again. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield. Gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks. Has to be sharper. But it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And the Ravens are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Big 
play coming here. It's third and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So fourth down coming up, John Harbaugh send on the field goal unit. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Ravens strike first at threes in. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On first and ten, it's Griffin. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second and nine. Out of the gun, Griffin steps away. He'll try and run it. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Give him nine yards on the scramble there, but it does leave him still a few inches shy with third down looming. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. Own side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I I'm, like it. I'm feeling it. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. 
it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take Ready. points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now a handoff here to his running back. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Jackson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 56 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. So second and four from the 22. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, this will be caught at about the five. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass, and everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. And I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, Take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. 
And that'll make it 6 0 here in the first. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6 0, so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And the tackle gonna be made right there at the 25 yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Operating from the gun. Griffin looking middle, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. From the gun on third down, Griffin. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Throwing on second and eight, Griffin. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. And he'll give it here to his running back. Still fighting for... And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So down inside the five-yard line, I have to say, really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. Washington with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They've got a first and goal just inside the five. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. And they'll go on the ground. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Six-nothing, our score after one. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. From the gun, Griffin. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now at six to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns throwing now Jackson on first down quick hitter here it's complete and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30 five yards on the catch there brings up second down From the gun, Jackson, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Operating from the gun, Jackson rolling to his left. 
He may try and run for this. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On first down, Griffin. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Right back to him on first down. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They'll throw on first down with Griffin. Stepping up. Now look out. Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And the Ravens have got it. You think about it, Charles. This is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive. Not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson. Not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. On the option, Jackson will keep it. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. From the 41, Jackson. Flush to his right, and now he's going to use his legs. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now here's the option play going left. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, 
He realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second and seven, Jackson. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line, 17-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Coming up on a second and six. From the gun, Jackson. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And the Ravens are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, <laughs> CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson and hopefully you can hem him in. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of two there. Second down. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown from six yards away as the Ravens push further out in front. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. It's up and good to make the score 13 to 3. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. 
A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And he'll give it here to his running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Washington on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Griffin. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Second and 12, Griffin. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Washington on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. He can run for it, and he will. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. I liked his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Washington going to send out their putter as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 
First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. From the gun, Jackson rolling to his right. He'll run it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Jackson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They had two straight first downs, now a gain of nine to set up second and one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Second and five. Jackson going to run. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Here's Jackson from the gun, he'll throw. Stepping, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. 
A six-yard touchdown run, and the Ravens will add on to their lead. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes, and when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone, and that's exactly what he did there. make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Right now! Right now! Let's run, baby! There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Off the play fake, here's Griffin. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Washington going to send out their punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Jackson on first down. Looking sideline incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. 
Jackson now on second and 10. They'll roll him out. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again, Griffin. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. After the interception, here's Jackson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Jackson over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. From the gun, Jackson out to his left. He may try and run for this. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Well, another fine run right there for Lamar Jackson. And CD, that one puts him over 100 yards now for the ball game. And remember when all we talked about were 100-yard games from running backs? Mm -hmm. That when a quarterback did it was a surprise? Well, Lamar Jackson, that's part of the package as well. He'll have as many 100-yard games in the season as the top running backs in the league. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 more yards there and another first down. Ready? Ready? 
So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual-threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And here's Jackson on the option. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Four yards remain for second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll go option to the short side. And he's got this down to the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. What? 
Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They'll run the option left. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On third down, Jackson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about Hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Going to give this time to the tailback. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, Griffin. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards, a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun. Griffin over the middle, and it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again, Griffin. And this is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
To throw again is Griffin. And now another one thrown incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Jackson going to tuck it down on the option. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Now a handoff looking right. Gets around him. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got this down to the 35. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second down and five. From the gun, Jackson. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. So making four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Now we get another look at Washington on offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Throwing now, Griffin on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, Griffin. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards there and a Washington first. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Now Griffin on first down, sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 
Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Second and 11 now. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. There's a quick throw right side, and it's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Griffin. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And this one is right through. And that'll get this back down to a 20-point spread. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. 
yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. And they give this time to the tailback. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now it's Jackson. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. We're in Baltimore, third quarter action, second and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Jackson now on third down. He'll buy some time right. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. on first down Griffin and he will find his man on the end route complete seven yards the pick up there and they're not going to get to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close you are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working with a second and three. From the gun, Griffin. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Operating from the gun, Griffin. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. We've been around this league for a while and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. From the gun, Griffin. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. The Ravens on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. Here it's third and three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Washington ready to try again on offense. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? 
Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Griffin. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. From the gun, Griffin. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes. Three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. On first and 10, Griffin. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. From 10 yards out. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Then that will cut this lead down to 13. So that drive, four plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On the option, it's Jackson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Go, go. 
And the ball is knocked out. And it's Washington that scoops it up. The 20, 10, and he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Now for the point after. And the lead will shrink to six. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken in the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. This Ravens offense heads back out there led by Lamar Jackson. So Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Looks like they went for the combo plate there. A nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play. Going for the big shot on that one unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Jackson. And he comes back with one complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Jackson's going to look to run it, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. the shotgun now here's an inside give they get 11 back on that one it leads to third down so from second and long now we go to third and very manageable yeah they love that phrase don't they because as an offensive coordinator you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it you can come back with a strong run game if you want to and if you're in four down territory that really opens things up for you on third and short, they'll try option left. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Right now! Right now! Let's go, baby!
Here's Sam Cook now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Could not have thrown that out there any better. When the ball hit the ground, I thought it might go into the end zone the way it was angling, but perfectly jutting out at the one. You think maybe what we saw in practice came into play there? You know how he put those big cans down on the sideline and, and angled for them and, and, and shot for them? Looks like it worked out pretty well for him, too. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now a handoff here to his running back. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. Now the two points, that's not totally critical at this point. Still a one-score game, but they do have to give away the football with no guarantees they're going to get it back. Yeah, or at least if they get it back, will they have any time to do anything with it? So they've got to send their defense out there and say, guys, we got to have it right now. Save some time for us. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. That's fielded at the 8-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. Give him three on the keeper there and it is second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Jackson, he's going to keep it himself. And a short pick up here as he'll get up to about the 22-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits... I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the gun on third down, Jackson. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 yards, and that's also where they snapped it from, the 22. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it second and 14. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. On second down, there's the option going left. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, 
I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Jackson now. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he will get this to the midfield stripe, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Sam Cook now. He's been terrific so far. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that, Puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. On first down, Griffin. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And able to use the stiff arm to gain leverage initially, but not much room thereafter. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, got some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. To throw again on second down. Griffin on the move to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 13 yards there and a Washington first. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Griffin firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Griffin to throw. Now he'll escape to his right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield.
Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. Now RG3. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 45-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. Throwing now is Griffin. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Griffin. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Back to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Going to give this time to the tailback. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. The Ravens taking a knee with victory seemingly in hand here. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.